What's up? Uh, welcome to round one. It's uh, Craig and I. He's going to say it first. He's like, oh, are we live? <laughs> Awkward silence yeah. first. Craig um, is on the play. We both kept seven. That is right. Let's do it. Um, Start it off with a courtyard. Pass. All right. Uh, forest elf go. Uh, on your instep, we'll push that out. All right. For my turn. Ganjo. Pass. All right. Uh, naming elf. Mm hmm. Warmaster? Yep. Uh, your go. Mmm. You must be playing that one card. Second that. courtyard. All right. Let's uh, swift end him. Okay. Uh, one is two. And say go. All right. I told you, slow start. <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> yes, yeah, good for you, not for me. Uh, play uh, Nykthos. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will tap two Warmaster, yep. tap one Sentinel, make a token, and uh, you'll go. All right. Let's play a Godless Shrine tapped. Pay three for a prototype combat thresher. Okay. Uh, when he enters, trigger draw a card. It's a 1-1 one, one double strike? Yes. Okay. And then I will pass. I remembered my prototype turn. Oops. The card <laughs> fell off the top. Let's see. You're starved on land, so let's just do this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, four or five death touch whenever hmm. Garrison draws a card and needs to life. Yeah, I'm gonna shock in Overgrown Tomb. Mm -hmm. Then let's tap two to play Leaf Crown Visionary. All right. Uh, and then uh, make a token, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna swing with these two. So we got two and three. Yep. Is there one one? Yep. Right, so we'll just take five. Yep. Go to 13. All right. Uh, your go. All right. Let's play planes. So every time you make an elf, you make an elf. Uh, yeah, every time an and or uh, only happens once per turn. Oh, okay. So whenever an elf enters the battlefield, it creates a token. Oh, he lets you draw cards. Yep. So let's. I'm gonna pay three. Okay. To touch of the spirit realm, exile him. Okay. Uh, in response, I'm gonna tap it with just bar yeah. sentinel. Tap Nick those for four mm -hmm. green, and collect a company. Yeah. Uh, let's grab. Okay, well, this so is exiled now. Or company it's going will to resolve be. first, and then this yeah. will resolve, and he'll be exiled. So I'm going to grab a Leaf Crown Visionary, yeah. triggers this, mm -hmm. and an Elvish Mystic, Ooh. or Elvish Visionary. Uh, draw a card when that enters. Let me continue finishing yeah. this, I guess, first. That's important. Alright, and then. Exiled. Mm -hmm. Draw a card, hot visionary. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. How much devotion? One, two, three, four, five. Um, Sorry, I'm just doing some mental math real quick. Okay, yeah, let's start with tapping Nykthos. Let me grab a dice so I can float mana. Mm -hmm. So, 
So let's double check the count. One, two, three, four, five. I will float five green. If I can find it. Five. Yep. Uh, I'm going to spend two of this to play an Elvish Warmaster. Mm -hmm. Sorry, this board's getting a little out of hand. No, no worries. So that's going to trigger this, creates a goblin, yep. or not a goblin, an elf, and then this triggers from that entering, so that's another. Mm -hmm. And then, sorry, that should have been, I'm at three mana. Yes. Uh, I'm going to spend two of that and tap overgrown two to play Shaman of the Pack. Yep, that's gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that'll put me to two, and then I'm dead to whatever you choose to attack. With. Okay. Uh, game two. <laughs> I need to learn how to organize these boards. It's like I'm not used to playing a deck that goes quite this wide. Yeah, it's tough. Um, you know, obviously try to keep all the tokens together, but then you kind of have to have two piles for the ones that entered. And exactly. That, yeah. Yeah. So it's almost like you have to reorganize your board every turn because you still have to know what you can swing with. Yeah. Right. Let's see. Is sideboard is time? Uh, I'm not really sure what your deck does, so it's going to be tricky. Yeah, I see that, and I'm like, yeah, oh, you're going to be both, buddy. <laughs> True. <laughs> it's kind of cold in here today, but maybe it's just me. It's just cold outside, bro. I think we need a chirp. Um, Maybe I'll just go light on the sideboarding. It's kind of tricky when you have like uh, multiple sure. copies of a card in your sideboard that are good in the matchup, but like it's tempting to just put them all in there. Right. to find out the hard way that you're just gonna like put in like five board clears. That's why it's called time. Right? <laughs> yeah. I will take the play. Just realizing, I don't think I swung a single time that last game. Mm, no, you swung wow. at turn whatever because I took. Yeah. Uh, I was at thirteen when oh, you dropped yeah. the elf. Okay, never mind. That's yeah, why I, I went was, down to two. Yeah, one. no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, because you hit me for seven. Yep. Yep. Uh, turn three, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your turn three. How do you Which feel about Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The the shaman of the pack is a very fun card sometimes. Oh, it's such a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I love dropping two of them off of Coco. Mm. It's just so much damage. Uh, this is a very poor matchup for me. 
even before I started messing with this deck, when it was just the prototype Blink deck. Are you playing it on Arena? Uh, I, I've tested a little bit on there. I'm not anymore because a lot of the cards in it now, or some of them, aren't on there. But I had a few extra things I wanted to try and add in. So. And then, you know, next week's pre release. So. I definitely was trolling some people on spoiler videos this week. It was fun. <laughs> They're like, oh, this set looks so great. I was like, this set looks terrible. There's no good humans in it. <laughs> Um, I will keep this. Uh, I'm gonna mulligan. Okay. It was very tempting to keep the one lander. It was like, all these spells are really good if I draw a land. Yeah. And if I don't draw the land in my 20 land deck, which is very likely, I will just be very screwed. So. I'm reminded of the, uh, the time before Christmas where it was you, me, and Matt. Yeah, I had a blast. That was so And fun. I was like, yeah, keep it. And it was the one lander <laughs> in the goblin stack. Yeah, and I, you didn't find a land for like five turns. God. Yeah, I had the Skirky boy out there, and he was he was helping, but yeah. it's like, it's probably one of the worst matchups to have the one lander <laughs> against. So funny. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like that night. It was a, I don't get to play against a lot of variety. Right. It's nice to just jam a bunch of games with different decks. Yeah. Because on a normal night, it's like, well, you play three rounds. But, or four, but you don't see that many decks. Yeah. Uh, let's see. All right. I'm going to keep. Good. All right. Uh, let's play God of Shrine Taft. Go ahead. Uh, Overground Tomb Taft, your go. Wait, Pathway? Charming Prince? Okay. Scry two. Mm. Yeah, I have. Both sides. Go ahead. Yeah. And we are going to. Uh, naming Elf Warmaster? Mm -hmm. Your go. Alright. Well, I bet you got some cool flicker stuff with Charming Prince. Sometimes. Not when it comes down first. It feels bad, but like the scry is decent. Yeah. Uh, Sanctum. Let's go to combat. Yeah. Swing two. I'll take it. Um, and then I'm going to portable hole. Yeah. Your you war master. It. Awesome. Go ahead. Uh. Let's just play. Hmm. Layer of the Hydra tap. Mm -hmm. Tap two. Leaf crown. Yep. And uh, your go. Um, on your end step, we'll push it. Push it. Yep. My turn. Pay three for the prototype thresher. Yep. Draw a card. Uh, move to combat. Yeah. Two. And then play land for turn. Pass. Okay. Uh, play Nykthos mm -hmm. and pass. Okay. I'm trying to figure out if you would be playing board clears in your deck. I know you're not going to tell me, but... <laughs> not main deck. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, let's... What order do we want to do this? Go to combat. Swing for... It'll be four. Take it. And then second main, we can... Okay. Uh, drop a prototype flesh forger. Yep. And pass turn. All right. End step. Coco. Mm hmm. Wow. 
that's uh, really unfortunate. Oh, that's a bad Coco. Yeah, it was really <laughs> bad. I was just like thinking in my head when I played, I was like, don't whiff, don't whiff. All right, and I'll draw a card off of it. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's... Hmm. Play Blooming Marsh Tapped. Mm -hmm. Then... Just clean. So I'll just play Elvish Warmaster and pass. Yeah, oh, okay, right on. I thought on. about it and I was trying to think of like... Yeah, you're trying to get them to tap all the mana so they can play. The second I went, because I had to play through it. Yeah, because you weren't killing them. So I think you're better off. Go ahead. Saving hmm. the damage. I was trying to figure out what's like... Cut down the Kithian on my turn. And then it's like, can I do I have a way to get rid of the Adelaide? Oh, you didn't. So I didn't. I think cutting down on your time. On your turn save that. that. Let's go ahead and drop another prototype thresher. Yep. Draw. Portable hole, your war master. You got it. Then we go to combat. Yep. Swing for three, five, six, seven. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter which one I chump here. Right. Because I can't chump that one. No, you got to chump so. a two damage. Yeah, uh -huh. I'll just take five. Yep. And I will gain three. Yep. And then I will pass the turn. See what I draw. I don't know what I don't like. But that's the problem with the deck is like every mm. card in the main deck is a minimum. Yeah. So you'd be swinging next turn for lethal for sure. So. Yes. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just pass. Okay. If you didn't see that, you were probably dead a turn earlier from the three of the elements. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, um, like, oh, great. I think combat. Yep. Yep. And we got seven, eight, nine. Yep. Coco. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That didn't help either. I wouldn't have that. That's a huge So That was that was a mulligan for sure. That was like, it was, I was looking at it and I was like, okay, I'm drawing. Hmm. Two turns to draw a land. Sign yeah, I'll draw a card off that. Two uh, turns to draw a land. The sign of blood didn't draw I'll, a land. Yeah, no, I don't know if there's turn. any like, outs I have here, seriously? so yeah, we can just go to game three. Oh. Yeah, the double shield. Yeah. It's like I could make this last a few more turns, but I don't see myself getting out of this situation. <laughs> yeah, two three mana spells oh. is a lot better than oh, two yeah. four mana spells. That it was two, after, after being master, three mana spells and four lands, it would kill like I'll just run it back. I don't know if I'm supposed to cut a land on the draw, but I'm also just going to run it back. Oh, you cut a land? I thought about it. Well, I, I've been wondering if I, it's right for me to cut a land when I'm on the draw. <laughs> Makes sense. But I haven't had enough. I mean, this is, I haven't had any reps with this new build. Yeah. So I don't know where we're kind of sitting. But I had to up my land count to play some of the new stuff. Which, of course, is the first stuff I sided out. Yeah. Everybody hates this, but I don't. Yeah, this new version of Elves is interesting. I've noticed just off that game, my Cocos are like way worse in this version. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm not playing as powerful Elves, like yeah. individually. So. More. It's more like go wide. Yeah. Um, so it's a Court of Calling deck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the plan is to go wide and then like Court of Calling for like the Shamans of the pack. Right up. I don't really mind telling you because we're going game three, but like 
But yeah, no, I, I you, don't... you can go very wide very quickly. Yeah. So that's good. And Convoke is ridiculous. Right. It's like I could be completely tapped on a mana and still like Convoke. Yeah. Like all the creatures I just put into play. I mean, you got another one drop, so like, this is fine. Yeah. Uh, what was it when it was in I'll standard? Take the play. It was, uh, Venerated Loxodon. The big Convoke yeah. envo elephant that pumps the team. What? Everything that convokes him gets a counter. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that sounds kind when, of ridiculous. Did oh, I get that banned? Was, no, no. It was, uh, that was just a, the, a mainstay of, that was, there was like a, it was like a white weenie deck that was pretty good. That was probably, oh, at least four years, three, four years ago. Six, seven. Good luck, sir. You too. Oh, I guess I should go back to 20. <laughs> All right. Nope. Oh shoot! I'm supposed to say first. Oh, I'm, I'm mulliganing. Okay. So I'm also mulliganing. Then. It's like I think I could get a better hand. It's like four lands just doesn't feel that great. No. And like not making a turn or play to like turn two or three is like not that good. Especially with you being so removal heavy. Oh, you need yeah. You want to come out on one. <laughs> yeah. So like if I can make you use removal on like one of the first turns, like within like on your first turn, then like I feel like that's okay for me. Mm -hmm. the right thing to put back, but that's what I'm putting back. <laughs> then it's the right thing. Exactly. I'm never wrong. That's right. Not even once. Good. Oh, feels bad, bro. Um, we're going to bottom that. And... That and that. I think. There you go. All right. All right. Blooming Marsh. Elf. Mm -hmm. Go. Tap land. Go ahead. All right. You know what's an always feels bad is when. You play the uh, the modal land, or at least like you're against like a thought seize deck, and they just take it away from you. Yeah, it's like the worst. Uh, Elvish visionary, draw a card, uh, and I'll hit you for one. Yep, go to nineteen. All right, here you go. Swamp, go ahead. Uh, land. Elvish Warmaster. Mm hmm. And. Let's. Play a lot of War Elf. Yep. Trigger. Make a dude. Alright. And then. Swing for 17. two. Yep. And pass. That's a lock point. Go ahead. All right. It's my devotion four. I'm going to tap this for four green. 
Ooh, let me find four. There it is. <laughs> play down ticket to two. Play a Aldrich Visionary mm -hmm. trigger. And draw a card. Yep. I believe I played Nick those last turn. Almost certain. Right? Because yes. I was on. Yeah, I haven't missed a land draw. Play, you yeah. missed a drop. Alright, play this land. Alright. Hmm. Sorry, I just have an interesting decision to make here. No, you're good. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is the right play. I'm just going to swing at you for two. This two. goes away. Oh, okay. 15. And uh, pass. All right. Swap. Yep. Okay, four. Shielder. All right. Uh, pass. End step. Quarter calling. Tapping for... Uh, I, I'm going to go look in my library for a three drop. Mm-hmm. Pick Shaman of the Pack. Yeah. And when that enters, I create another elf. Eight damage each. One, two, three, four, oh, five. Oh, because it counts six, itself seven, also, eight, right? Nine. Nine. Yep, it counts itself. Oh, I always forget it counts itself. So nine. So that puts me to six. Ouch. Take my turn. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of a mess. And then shield or trigger. Yep, all these two. I did damage. Yes. Uh, quarter calling, gonna go tutor for another shaman. <laughs> good games, man. Good game. That's a good one. I was holding on to two of them there. Oh, I don't know if we're supposed to let it run, like Matt said. So I brought in three portable holes and. Two copies of Extinction Event. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Cutting just bigger random one ofs. I brought in Vivian, a uh, Monsters Advocate. I was like very unsure if that was going to be that good. Oh, okay, that's an interesting choice. I mean, you know, the, the look and the cast, that's good, and it makes dudes. Yeah. It doesn't seem bad. It's like, I didn't know how grindy this matchup was going to be. Yeah. So, and also brought in the Shaper Sanctuaries. But I, I feel like that might have been like not a good card to bring in in this matchup. Uh, it felt a little slow, but I mean, it got the job done. On the play, you're good with it because you have enough momentum, I think. Yeah. All right, I guess we can end this now.